is a tree grows near our house. It's been there quite some time. Now the tree is a slippery elm tree and awful hard to climb. But when my wife gets after me in that tree, I always roost. Why, I can go right up it just like a healthy squirrel. I don't never need no boost. But the other day, a woodman came round to chop my refuse down. Kept mumbling something about wanting to split it into kindling wood and then spread it around the town. I said to him, I said, uh, look here, my friend, hold on, desist, whoa, stop. Put down that forest razor. Chop not a single chop. Woodman, woodman, spare that tree, touch not a single bough. Three years it has protected me, and I'll protect it now. Go chop an oak, get a birch or pine, but save old Slippery there, that's mine. That's the only street that my wife can't climb, Mr. Woodman. Spad for me. I said to him, I said, Woody, can you see that whole way up near that old treetop? I got $5 in soft money up there, and it's yours if you refuse to chop. Now, no one can climb that tree but me because really, friend, it's too slippery. Fact of the matter is, I can't get up there very well myself unless my wife is after me. Now, I'm going to go home and get my wife and proceed to call her a very naughty word. Then all you do is stand by while I do that imitation of a bird. Now, you ain't going to know just where I go, that is, while my wife's around. But the only thing I ask you, Mr. Woodman, if you don't see me here on the ground, Woody, you gonna spare that tree, touch not a single bough, cause I'm gonna drop old five down to thee, the one I promised thou. Oh, but you must make that axe behave, because old Slippery there just must be saved. That's a borderline between me and the grave. Mr. Woodman, spare it. Spare that tree from me.